welcome to No Jacket Required. I'm your host, Chris Pagnozzi. I have with me Mary Beth Monroe. Hello. Thank you so much for coming, and that is a lovely jacket. It is not mine. It is absolutely not. Someone lent it to you. And it kind of feels like it's clear <laughs> that this is um, someone else's. Yeah. Because the lining is kind of sticking to my skin. You would say the jacket is wearing you. Yes. Okay. It's kind of like the Spider-Man uh, Venom. Uh, you, you might not know, but Venom was that suit, an alien suit that sort of just... Nerd alert! Nerd alert! <laughs> That's true. That is. Can I de-venom right now? De-venom. Can I de-venom? De-venom, I'd like to de-venom, de-venom please. Because it's real. Yeah. It's... Oh, I can breathe. I would love to talk about workaholics. Oh, God, please. I am it. a huge, huge fan. Uh, yay. Now, um, I read a story somewhere, maybe when the show was first coming out, that when you auditioned, they saw you and they had seen you on main stage. Anders, that... Anders, Anders did. Anders did. When Anders saw my tape, he <clears> said, I know that girl, she's great. Yeah. And he's real sweet because he's he said to me too that um, he had seen me on the on the main stage. I'm quoting him and I'm I'm humbly bragging as well. <laughs> but he also said like I don't know why that girl's not famous yet. Usually I I, I ask I open it up to like dating and I talk about. Ooh yeah. Are you in, in a relationship? No, no I'm you're not. Very single. I, just single. I don't know why I <laughs> just put very. very and what what would you what advice would you like? Well, I mean. To know? <sighs> Just even like approaching a woman and uh, like she's a wild animal. Like she's a wild animal. Oh. Like it's like a squirrel. When you're trying to this might be your problem. You may not want to compare women to to any rodent. The point was you don't run up to a squirrel. You just run away. You don't. <laughs> you don't scare them from the get go. Is where I was going with that. You know, uh, I think the computer thing. You think you know, it's a good... I used to be really like, don't do that. Like, it's taking all the romance out of everything. It's Thank like you. another job interview. You go through a lot of bad dates, but ultimately, you know, you find that prize in the, okay. the Cracker Jack box. I, <laughs> I guess I'm hung up on the idea of, you know, it would be nice to tell your grandkids you, you met your wife in Times Square. <laughs> yeah, no. No, you don't want to tell your grandkids how oh, we met online. Well, what if the website is... Uh, meet me in Times Square. Meet me in Times Square. <laughs> Where did you're... you meet? Met in Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great idea. That yeah, is a great idea. Right? And then you're not lying. Is there anything you would like like to plug? Or... My one woman show, Horrible Women. It's called Horrible Women, and uh, it's a collection of very irreverent, dark monologues. Um, Love it. That are just despicable people. Would, would you like to plug anything to the ladies who are watching? Of, um, um, bitches. This is not bitches and fishes. Oh, see, I'm going to stop you right there. Okay. I'm going to stop right there. We, you probably want to ixnay on the squirrels and bitches. Do women get offended when you call, like, between um, woman, lady, and girl? I think uh, for me right now, as a, you know, young for something, uh, <laughs> I uh, don't like woman. Right. I still like ladies. I like mm-hmm. something that hints at a younger age. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Lady or um, gals. We are addressing I know woman is dames? fine. Dames, broads. Broad? Um, yeah. <laughs> or like uh, Bernhardt. Sandra. Thank you. Sandra? That's a broad, and she'd appreciate She's the broad. broad. Me? Appreciate broad. You're one funny broad. Yeah. yeah. But it would depend on who it's coming from. You? Yes. Okay. Definitely. Thank you. Jerry Sandusky? No. <laughs> he wouldn't even say that to me because he doesn't like my type. Here's a crazy question. <clears throat> yes. If someone forced you to open a restaurant, what kind of food would you serve? It would just be a restaurant that only served mashed potatoes. Okay. Like a mashed potato bar. Oh, That's great. It's got all the fixings. I'd never leave. <laughs> Put it in my mouth. Dot com. Honey, <laughs> that's where your grandpa and I met. <laughs> Put it in my mouth.com. <laughs> Mary Beth Monroe, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank Workaholics you so much. Comedy Central. Yes. Um, back Watch in some, it. This is, ah. uh, no jack required. I'm Chris Bagnosi. Thank you and good night. Bye.